testing a simple software defined radio. There's not much to it. You've got the tuning dial which you select the area of the band you want to monitor and the band switch a selection of 80 or 40 meters. Looking at the connections to the computer this is the external speaker or headphones the audio input in this case a microphone input and the USB port. This is used just for power. It provides 5 volts to power the hardware. The software is SD Radio by I2 PhD. The receiver covers all of 40 meters and much of 80 meters. The local oscillator uses ceramic resonators 3.58 megahertz for 80 meters and 7.2 megahertz for 40 meters. This is the transistor for the local oscillator that is followed by a buffer that feeds a two diode mixer. This here is the front end. I'm using RF chokes for 40 meters and 80 meters. The band switch switches both the input circuit and the ceramic resonator. It's like a simple direct conversion receiver but there is no audio stages. All this gain is provided by the computer. In addition there is no low pass filter because you want the roll off to be much higher than audio frequencies. To use you adjust to the portion of the band you wish to cover noting the approximate frequency on the dial type that frequency in and that changes the display at the top and also along the bottom you tune by using the mouse you can identify signals by homing in on a peak. We can change the bandwidth. Particularly good for CW reception. There is a denoiser function, which is like a DSP. Low, medium, and high. That's with a denoiser off. That's with a denoiser on. There is no image rejection. We've got one signal on the lower image, one on the upper image. But 
unlike a direct conversion receiver, we can change the VFO frequency and separate the signals. That's clearly the unwanted signal on the wrong sideband. Gave a lot of insight into the uh, design philosophies and how they come about. 